What a nice job. Thank you. Wow. It's been so exciting. We're going to do questions. Maybe I'll say a few words. We're doing really well. Iowa's been amazing. It's been amazing. But we're doing so well, and I love this place, and I'm back here all the time, and I'm going to be here a lot in January. Oh. Oh. You're going to be so sick of me. You'll probably say, we can't give him the caucus. Just forget it. We can't stand the guy anymore. No, you're going to like me, and we're going to be back, and we're going to do a great job for you. Most importantly, we're going to get to that office, and we're going to do the right thing. We're going to do the right thing. So, a few things, a lot, so much has happened. You know, when we first came out, we were all talking together, and we were talking border security, which, oh, we're just doing so great with the border security. We're going to build a wall. Mexico's going to pay for the wall. We all know that. And look at that security. And the drugs are going to stop, and people are going to come into the country, but they're going to come into the country. They're going to be legal. They're coming in legally, and that's the way. That's the way. And it affects Iowa so much. But So we were talking about that. We're talking about repealing Obamacare. Boom, it's going to be repealed. It's going to be replaced. I don't know if you've been seeing what's happening, but Obamacare is a total disaster. It's dying of its own weight. And by 17, meaning he'll be playing golf and I'll be working very hard. But by 17, it's dead. It's dead. You're not getting the people signed up. There's been a lot of talk about it and a lot of stories about it. Obamacare is dead, but we'll terminate it quicker than that. And we will come up with something that will be so good, so much better. Premiums are going through the roof. Deductibles are so high that unless you're close to death, you're never going to get to use it. And even then, I don't think you're going to get to use it, really. So we're going to take care of that. And by the way, we have a lot of good people. We have ethanol that nobody is really... Uh, we have the ethanol. Where are the ethanol people? Right? I was here a month ago. I met with them all, and they do a fantastic job. I toured the plants, and they do a fantastic job, and it's so important. And it's another form of let's stay away from OPEC and let's stay away from that Middle East stuff. It's so important, so I just want to... And actually, what I don't understand, because the one guy that's doing pretty good with me in Iowa is Ted Cruz, and he's a nice guy. I mean, everything I say, he agrees with me. No matter what I say, I was going to do one really wild, but he agrees. But with the ethanol, really, it's, uh, he's got to come a long way because he's right now for the oil. But I understand that oil pays him a lot of money. He's got to be for oil, right? The oil companies give him a lot of money. So, but I'm with you. I'm with everybody. I'm with everybody. Look, I'm self-funding. I have no oil company. I have no special interest. I have no uh, lobbyists that want me. And, you know, they're representing countries that are ripping off the country. They're representing companies that are ripping off our country. All I do is I'm going to be working for you folks. We're going to do this thing together. We're going to make America so great. Again. And maybe better than ever before. So, so important. So when we first started, I talk about China, how they're ripping us, and Japan, and Mexico. Mexico both at the border and in trade. They're taking so many of our companies. Nabisco's moving there with their big plant. Ford is moving there with a big plant. They took a big plant away from Tennessee, a great state. They took it away at the last moment. We're not gonna let that stuff. We're gonna do, we're gonna get it. We're gonna do what we have to do, okay? But I talk about that, thank you. Oh, look at that group over there. Thank you. But I talk about that, and I talk about it a lot. The fact is that about two and a half weeks ago with Paris, I'm speaking a little bit differently now. Believe me, I can take care of China in my back pocket. That's easy for me. That's what I do. And we have all the cards. A lot of people don't know. You know, these politicians, they don't understand. We have the cards. You know, with China, our people pay tax. They pay no tax. It's not supposed to be that way. They call it a tariff because it sounds better. But we will take care of that. We'll take care of all of that. It's a, what happened is with Paris, there's a different mindset. And when the polls came out last week, 
my numbers went way up because people felt more secure with me. Now maybe it had to do, yeah. Who knows why, who knows? But my poll numbers went up. And do you ever notice whenever there's something that I do that's proper, but controversial, they say, ah, oh, now he's gone. It's it, that's it, that's the end. I won't go over all of the different things because maybe you'll change your minds, right? So I won't. But they'll say, that's it, it's over. And then they come and sir, your poll numbers went up nine points this week. I said, they did? Because I have to do what's right. I have to do what's right. And you know what? If I don't make it, I don't make it. I have a good life. We all hopefully have a good, good life. I have a great family, nice people, wonderful people. They love me, I think. I hope. I think. But I have a great family, and I built a great business. In fact, what, thank you. Who is that person? I love that person. Stand up. I love that person. Thank you. Thank you, darling. I appreciate it. There's such spirit, you know, like this, there's such spirit, no matter where I go, it's, you know, we go to Dallas, we have 20,000 people, 35,000 people in Mobile, Alabama, 20,000 people in Oklahoma, wherever we go in Iowa, we have these crowds, yeah, this is supposed to be for in and around, this is supposed to be like a record, it is big, and yet it feels intimate, it feels good, and we're going to start taking questions, but I just wanted to say, so, I changed a couple of weeks ago. When I saw Paris, I changed. And a big, big part of what I'm doing now is safety and security and smartness and smartness. <laughs> sort of interesting, you know, the slogan is Make America Great Again, and I'm adding Make America Great Again and Safe Again because we don't feel safe anymore. And the problem we have now that we never had to this extent is the power of weaponry. It's the power. It's the tremendous power. You know, a hundred years ago, I would have said, let's not go there. I said, don't go there anyway. And I said it strongly. Don't go. You're going to destabilize the Middle East. But the fact is, right now, we're going to have to do things because we have some really, really sick degenerates. And they're degenerates. And the press, look at all those cameras going, all live, all, you know. Nobody else has cameras like this. They can make a speech a hundred times, they make a speech. Nobody cares. Look at this. <laughs> and, don't worry, they never panned the crowd. You know, they never, they have me. That's why I'm walking around. I figure I'll walk around, maybe they'll get the crowd. They never panned the crowd. I tell them, pan the crowd, they never do. I always go, my wife, she goes home. I had a crowd, 7,000 people last week, more, 7,000 people, and in a confined space, it was, they had 3,000 people outside that couldn't get in. My wife said, darling, the speech was excellent. Did you have many people there? I said, I, she said, well, they never leave your face. They keep it purposely. But I'll tell you, I figured the cameras maybe are a little screwed up where you can't move them, right? But every time there's a protester, while well, I'm protesting, and it can be in the back left-hand corner of the room, the cameras swoop over there. It's true. It's true. It's true. No, I used to think they couldn't move. You know, there maybe there's something with the crazy computers. You know, in the old days, everything was better, right? The car seats. You'd sit in your car, and you want to move forward or back, you press a button, bing, bing. Now you have to open up things, press a computer, it takes you 15 minutes. Well, the same thing I figured with cameras. I didn't think they moved. I figured they were fixed for certain reasons. And then I saw a protester, and those cameras were bent in positions like you wouldn't have believed possible. So, they're very dishonest people, what can I say? Not all of them, but most of them. Most of them, the press is dishonest. I'll tell you, you have one of the most dishonest right here in your backyard. The Des Moines Register is the worst. The worst. No, they're very 
couple shots. You have some reporter named Jacob. She is the worst. She, she goes in and she will write so it's such misrepresentation. And so I don't care. I mean, who cares? So I'm saying it right in their backyard. They're failing anyway. They probably won't be in business in two years. They're losing. I think they're losing. I think. You know, it's funny. Every time the Des Moines Register does a poll, I always do badly. And I believe, now of course I'm sure, I'm only doing this so they don't sue me, but I don't mind if they do. I, I hope they sue me. Because they don't have enough money to sue me. That's a good thing. But I believe, and I may be wrong, in fact, I'll say I'm sure I'm wrong, but it's my opinion that they don't do it properly. Because, you know, they poll like three or four hundred people. I'll explain it. But I really believe if they, you know, if they lose 20 people, boom, in the pocket. Oh, Trump, oh, forget that one, forget that one. Now, I don't know that they do that. Do you do that, Des Moines Register? But every time I have a Des Moines Register poll, I do poorly. I also do poorly with the Bloomberg polls. I don't know why. But we had a great poll come in, CNN, last couple of days, where we're leading, I think, by 13 points in, in Iowa. In Iowa. And then we had another one come in where we're doing well. But I think Des Moines Register, somebody, is, said it's coming out sometime. I just tell you, watch. Trump disappears. I think we're going to do so well. I think we're actually going to even do better. You know, we're leading in most of the polls. We're leading in every poll. It, no, every poll. Except Iowa, there was one poll. There was one poll. Monmouth? I've never even heard of Monmouth. What the hell is Monmouth? What is Monmouth? Explain it. I don't like Monmouth. You know why I don't like it? Because they always treat me badly also. But I, I only like polls that treat me well. But... But we're doing so well. Nationwide, we're leading every poll by tremendous. We just had one in Georgia, 44. 44. That's, think of that. That's 44 with 15 people. I'd take 44 if we had three people. I don't think I'd take it if we had two people, but I think I'd take it if we had. But 44, a CBS came out, as you know, you probably saw that New York Times two days ago. And we're 35 to a small number. We're killing everybody in every poll. Just one little outlier here. And I'm sure, again, when Des Moines comes out, I'm sure it'll be a negative because I don't believe, I don't believe that poll. Uh, but, but we are going to win. And I tell you what, honestly, Iowa is so important to me. I could say, oh, let's not do. I am an evangelical. I'm a Christian. I'm a Presbyterian. I'm a Presbyterian. I love Billy Graham. Franklin Graham came out with the most beautiful statements. Franklin Graham. He was so incredible. He came out, I don't know if you all saw the statements he came out with about Trump, right? Stand up, please. Right? Come on, stand up. You look great. Don't worry about it. Is that right? He was so incredible. Franklin Graham was amazing. The son of Billy Graham, who was, you know, there's nobody, nobody that I've ever seen. Billy Graham was unbelievable. If anybody's gone to his crusades, they were incredible. But, so I, I think we're going to do, you know, we're doing really well with the evangelicals. And, and by the way, and again, I do like Ted Cruz, but not a lot of evangelicals come out of Cuba, in all fairness. It's true. <laughs> not a lot come out. But I like him nevertheless. But I think we're going to do great, and we are doing great with evangelicals. We're doing great with the Tea Party, leading with the Tea Party. <laughs> And we're doing fantastic with old and young and middle, and we're doing great with everybody. And so it's very important for me to win Iowa. Now, I could take, put less pressure on myself, and I could say, oh, I don't care about Iowa, I don't care. But I do care. I do care so much about it. That's why I'm here all the time. And then lies happen. You know, when I was using Iowa, they lie so much. I said, the people of Iowa can't be that stupid or dumb. The people of the country can't. I'm trying to make a point, right? So I said, the people of the country can't be that stupid. Well, they cut the country out. So it's referring to Iowa. I love you people. Remember that. Remember. I was talking about something, and I won't even mention what I'm talking about, because the guy I'm talking about and was, was actually a very good guy. But I will say this. 
We want to win Iowa so big. Because if I win Iowa, I think we run the table. I really do. If, I think we win the table. We go right through. Because we're leading big in New Hampshire, every poll. Big, big in New Hampshire. Christie got an endorsement from this crazy newspaper up there. It's the weirdest deal I've ever seen. And, and who's that? You know, the paper that was in his state called up, said, Are you sure about that? Nobody ever called us. They can't believe it. And we could go into that, but it's irrelevant. But we're leading New Hampshire big. We're leading in South Carolina in like monstrous numbers. We're leading the SEC, Nevada. We're leading in Texas. We're, we're leading everywhere. We're leading big in Florida. Now you have Rubio, nice guy, by the way. You have Rubio, and he is a nice guy. But you gotta vote. You know, when the people put you in position to be a senator, you gotta go and vote. You can't be the number one person that doesn't vote in this Senate. You gotta say, hey, you know, I'm a young guy. I wanna go and vote. He should stay there a little longer. He's a good guy. Stay there, go in, vote, create a nice record. But I don't know, how's he doing in Iowa? Not too good, right? He's not doing well. How's, he, how's Rubio doing? Not good. I mean, it seems like a two-person race right now. It seems like a two-person and It's an important race to me. So I just want to let you know it's very important. So with all of that, if we win Iowa, a lot of people say, we just go through, I think we win virtually every state in the union, and it's over quickly. Over quickly. Now, we're going to take questions, and one of the questions will be, well, what about the Republican establishment? The establishment's got a problem. You know? It's sort of like the fighters, you know, the great champions. Sometimes they'll go into a hometown of a guy they're fighting. And they'll say, you know, we never want to get a decision, we go for the knockout, because the knockout is the knockout. Because you get a lot of bad decisions. I know a lot about the world of sports, believe me. And they go into a hometown to fight, and it's a decision. And they say, oh, we're in a problem. And they lose a fight that they won. The only way they win the fight, definitely knockout. So if we win Iowa, I think we're going to win everything after that. So I think it's going to show how important I was. And, and one thing, and I'll, I'll pledge this. I'll pledge this to Iowa. Even if I lose, I'll pledge it, okay? I don't think I've ever said that in my life. But if we, get, if we go and win, Iowa's staying right where it is in the chain. It's not moving. You know, there's a big move. There's a big move on to move Iowa into a much further back position by the establishment. Folks, I win. It's not happening, okay? You're staying right here. Because it's great. It's great. You know, it's great. And if I don't do that, Tana's going to be very angry at me. Right, Tana? How has she done? Is she incredible? Thank you. I appreciate it. The whole staff. I mean, uh, Chuck and Stephanie, and where's my big guy? Where the hell is he? Boy, how good is he on television, right? Where the hell is he? Huh? Clovis. Where is he? Sam, big Sam. Come here, Sam. Come here. Look at the size of this. Come here, Sam. Look at him. Big Sam. Come here. Are we going to win Iowa, Sam? We're going to win Iowa. We're going to win Iowa. Put them away. We're going to stand on their chest. We're going to step on their throats. We're going to be out here. We're going to run up the score. We're going to have the biggest victory in the history of the caucuses in the state of Iowa.